more common gardening times of the year is gonna be fall gardening. Now it's a time of year that a lot of people forget they can actually be planting crops for later in the season. We're nearing the peak of the summer season when it comes to vegetable gardening and right now we're gonna have some empty spots out in our garden. Now is a perfect time to go ahead and interseed with some other cool season crops or with some other crops that we wanna grow in our garden. When we talk about fall gardening, we need to make sure that we check on the seed packet to see what the days till harvest is. Then we add 14 days to that days till harvest and depending on if it's a tender crop or it's a hardy crop, then we would add more time to it. So if it's a tender crop that doesn't like frost, we're gonna add 14 more days to that days till harvest. If it's a hardy crop, let's say one of the cool season crops that can handle that light frost like kale, then we would just go with the straight 14 days added on to that. So it really makes a difference. We need to read the backs of the labels to see what our days till harvest are and then add that buffer to it. In western Nebraska, you're gonna bump your frost date up sooner into October. And so it really depends on what part of the state you're living in, what that average frost date is. It'll make a big difference if we're doing those tender crops versus those a little bit hardier crops that can handle that light frost. When we take a look at fall gardening, we also need to determine how deep we need to plant the seeds. That's also on the back of the package. And because we are looking at warmer temperatures, we might wanna plant those seeds just a little deeper than we normally would or what's recommended on the package. Because we're in the heat of the summer, we also need to make sure that we provide that supplemental water. And we need to do very light waterings to make sure that that soil stays moist so those seeds can break through. We wanna make sure that we avoid that crust forming on top of that soil surface. Otherwise, those seeds are gonna have a tough time germinating up through that. There's a lot of different crops that we can do fall gardening with. We can do our green beans, we can do our leafy greens like our lettuce and our spinach and our kale. If you have the transplants available, we can also do our cool season crops like our broccoli and our cauliflower. So it really depends on what you want in your garden, what you're gonna be planting this time of the year.